Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Amanda Dalton, but my friends call me Mandy, and um, I'm going to be making a YouTube channel about my tiny home living experience. Um, I recently bought a tiny home that is 270 square feet. Um, it is referred to as a, um, a, a T-H-O-W. So um, I'm not quite sure how that's exactly pronounced. I'm learning everything, um, but it's a 270 square feet um, tiny house with a sleeping loft um, that I do not sleep in. I actually sleep downstairs. And um, other than living in tiny homes two months prior doing research, um, this is a completely new lifestyle for me. I did not grow up camping. And um, the type of tiny home that I purchased does not have your standard plumbing. I do have running water, but it's an eco-friendly property that I, the house is on. So we do a compost toilet, which is a whole new world. Um, so I had a friend suggest that I start making videos and of the journey um, because I'm definitely learning a lot um, about how to live simple. Um, I'm really loving it. And, um, but there are some things I, I am gonna do to the tiny home. I'm definitely, the bathroom needs to be redone um, and better um, designed. The kitchen needs some love. <laughs> so I thought I would just video it and hope that you guys enjoy it. And it's also a good way for me not to bog down my Facebook with tiny home stuff. And there's a plane going overhead, a very tiny plane. usually pretty quiet out here. Anyways, today's video is going to be the outside of the home. So enjoy. So somebody suggested to me that I start making YouTube channel of my tiny home experience. And I definitely wanted to get going on that because we are in week two of living in the tiny house and um, kind of full time. I'm doing a little bit in Dallas, but for the most part I'm here and it's definitely been a learning experience. So today's video, I thought we would just take a tour of the outside of the tiny home because I know a lot of people have questions about the lack of plumbing, where the wheels are and all that good stuff. And I don't really know, to be honest. So this making of this video is also good for me. So let's check it out. So the hitch is located underneath this little potting table here. So there's the hitch. Just have it concealed with this table. So there's the trailer set on cinder blocks. This is the bathroom. So right this window here is the bathroom and it's not the kind of plumbing, it's not plumbing. <laughs> I was gonna say it's not the plumbing you're used to, but it's not plumbing at all. So I've got water, water comes in, but then it goes just directly out. Like there's a hole basically in the shower and it just falls down to the ground. Some of it is funneled through but the bathroom just goes straight down sometimes, or I'm noticing that. I do have hot water, it's a propane run. This is the air conditioner unit. So this is the back of the house. Let me pull back a little bit. And then you can get a better visual of the wheels. So you can also see here, and we'll do another video later of the inside, that can you see how it comes up here where the wheels are? That's exactly how it is in the home. So when you are entering into the home, you have to step down into what is referred to as the living space, which I use as my bedroom. And the same thing is you're going to be stepping down into so this window here is actually my window for my kitchen sink. So that's how tiny the space is. So this is the window for the kitchen sink, which is a three feet space. And then literally here 
is the bathroom, which is another three feet. So it's like a closet and a closet. <laughs> Let's keep cruising around. We've got a water line here. This is kind of where some of the water gets funneled out. Although I don't, this is not working good. This is a mess down in here. So I need to investigate this. Here is power and the Wi-Fi. Now my Wi-Fi is free and it, it's here. This is the router. And then I share it with my neighbor. So this is my closest neighbor. Cool little Airstream. I don't feel like they're right there. <clears throat> I did get the shed, which is huge. The shed is huge and it's really nice because it's got a floor. Oh, the deer are here. Y'all, the deer are here. Can you see them? There they are. So I've been trying to get the deer to visit. Notice the deer feed. They were here earlier, they'll be back. Um, stay tuned for something here. I don't know if it's gonna be another tiny purchase. I really wanna buy a container and have a second bedroom option. And I would love it to sit right here. I would also like some sort of cool, conceptual, teepee shaped, I don't know. There's a lot of good design out there. But something needs to be sitting right here. Just for sleeping. Hi, dear. Okay. This window here is gonna be the living space. It's really nice because the windows are set up high, so can't no one can see in, and all the windows open, which is great. Airflow when it's nice. And there's basically a window on every single wall. I have ambitions to open up the stairs here and do what is on the right side, also on the left side. So what I would like to have happen is to repeat this here, really open that up, because I, I really do wanna create a outhouse. Um, the shed is kind of acting like an outhouse currently, which is fine, but I definitely see some design that could happen right around here, possibly even here. I don't know what the steps, to come down. So something I need to invest in after I invest into the bathroom. So this video is just about the outside. I'm not going to go in. So there is the other side of the kitchen. And you can see through the window on that side. Up there is the sleeping loft, although I do not sleep up there. Um, I use it for uh, my clothes. I, I can sleep somebody. So that's nice if I do have a friend come stay. I do have a twin bed up there, but otherwise this is a one person stay. So I hope you enjoy my tiny home journey. I haven't thought of a name for it yet, but I've been calling, originally the house was called Stevie because it had Stevie Nicks vibes, but I've since been just calling it the tiny. It's kind of its little nickname. The creative space, I don't know, I don't know yet. But I hope you enjoy my, my tiny home journey. <laughs>